Hello, and welcome to another edition of Tasting Notes. On today's episode, we will be taking a look at this product right here, Lemon Riot from Sundial. It is reputed to be uh, Rascal OG by other names, but the proprietary name that they've chosen is Lemon Riot. In theory, that's going to be because it's reputed to have a lemony, piney taste. But hey, we're going to find that out as we go through this evaluation. So as usual, we're going to evaluate this strain right here against this score sheet right here. So that's our scoring matrix, our official scoring matrix. We're going to work through each of those components and see what we can find out. All right. So first off today, we are going to take a look at our packaging. Um, packaging, it appears to be honestly a little bit excessive to me, but it's also sort of what you're going to get for your average one grammar. Uh, so this particular one was packaged on the 17th of November 2019, so that makes it just about six or seven months old by the time we do our tasting here today. So it's getting a little bit older, but hey, that is okay. So on the whole, as I've mentioned before, I think this is inherently an excessive amount of packaging for one gram of cannabis. Um, these guys have done one or two nice things in that they have dropped the bottom. So it's a false bottom on their boxes. Uh, that actually makes it appear a little bit nicer, but I'm not sure if it's really going to make that big a difference. So here we are. Anywho, um, it does appear excessive to me for one gram. I do like that novelty piece, but it's going to receive it's going to receive negative one because it is simply excessive. We can do our one grams in pouches or equivalent, and I think that's a much better option for us. So as we get our stuff opened up here, let's just do a bit of a twist. We'll open up our cannabis and see what our first look is. So how do we take this first impression? Now, it's a good sign that I do, in fact, have a moisture seal on here. So that's a positive. I think we're going to be going in the right direction, at least. So, yes, um, as I look at this, not bad. Oh, I got some odor right away. So that's actually a nice thing. So not the most appealing looking cannabis. Um, not bad either, though. So I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with that. It's just not the prettiest. So that's what she looks like. Um, I will dump it out in just a second for you guys to have a gander at, but I wanted to give it its rating for its first look. That receives a zero. Nothing special, but nothing detrimental. So next we're going to take a smell. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely lemony and piney. So this one, and partly I think because of that moisture seal, does receive some points. Um, it's actually quite nice. And like I said, when I popped the seal there, we did actually get a little bit of a, um, we did actually get an odor. So I'm going to give that guy three points here. That's going to receive a nice score. I'm definitely getting the lemony and piney that we're supposed to. Interesting. Very nice. Okay, very nice. Now, next up, we've done our, our smell and our look. We're going to take a idea of our weight. Did we get what we were supposed to get? So... One gram is what we are looking for. We're going to dump everything out onto our weigh tray. We lost a little bit. We're going to make sure that gets on there. We do indeed have our 1.0 grams. So 1.0 grams, that's awesome. So we've got what we were supposed to get. I'm happy about that. Uh, so that receives our zero. Now, in terms of the trim quality, hmm, trim quality, this is not necessarily the most beautiful buds I've ever seen. Um, now, the lineage of this is supposed to be OG Kush and SFV OG Kush, which I'm going to assume is San Fernando Valley OG Kush. Um, so this is definitely an OG Kush lineage. Um, it's got a nice, dense, indica-sided bud to it. So that's kind of nice. Now, I think this actually is listed as a hybrid or a sativa-sided hybrid. Um, this looks, the bud structure looks denser. It looks more like an indica to me. Um, we're not seeing a lot of stringiness. It's it's drawn out, or, or rather it's not drawn out. It's nicely concentrated and condensed. This one's looking a little bit more elongated, but still we're getting some nice dense buds there. So um, I'm going to say our trim quality is a one. 
nothing extraordinary, but it doesn't look like it's been butchered either. So that's a good thing. Now, next up, our zoom view. So as always, I will take some macro photos of exactly what I am seeing and put them up on the screen for you guys. First off, we're going to zoom in here at 30 times and our 30 time magnification is looking pretty good. There's a nice dusting of trichomes. I'm seeing good, good coverage. Um, so overall, this is looking promising. We're going to zoom in a little bit closer, take a look with that 60 time mag and actually check out some of those trichomes, see how they are developed. Um, we're getting some beautiful ambers and milky colored trichomes, but I'm not seeing the most outstanding coverage of mature big trichomes. So there's been a little bit of damage. Um, not a huge amount, however, because these are still looking pretty darn nice. So this guy's not going to receive a perfect score on its zoom view, but it's going to do well. Um, we're going to take that up to, I think we're going to give that a, it's between a two and a three. Um, let me take a look at one other bud and see if it's prettier. How about that? So we're going to take a look at between our two and our three, which one is this product? I am going to suggest that this one is closer to a three. Um, yes. So thank you, secondary bud. You have proved that this is a nice one. So we're going to give that guy a three. Three is respectable for sure. Now, in terms of our moisture, what the heck happens when I take a bud off of here? Does it just poof when I squish it? It's not feeling the most moist. I know it had a seal on there, but um, it's not the most moist product. So if I give it a squish, it does indeed just sort of crumble away. Um, that's not what I wanted. So our moisture and our density, that is going to receive a negative two. On the moisture that is too dry that is too dry for my takes um, so negative two on the moisture and we are next going to have our density so we need to take our grinder and see how this product grinds up here now as always i'm going to leave a couple of nuggets here for photography so we're going to take this stuff right here we're going to stuff it into the grinder and see how it goes does it just poof when i close the grinder or do i actually have to squish it a couple of times so I've closed the grinder and it has not all gone through. So that's a good thing. So we'll give it a zero on its density. It did indeed require a grind or two to get through the grinder. That is what we would like to see. That is what we would like to see. So it does end up with a nice milled product right there. Um, zero points on the density, nothing special, nothing unpleasant. Now our terpene check. So now that it's ground up, we're going to have another smell. Oh, wow. Definitely extremely lemony, definitely piney. So um, this one is certainly coming true to profile and is smelling quite nice. So I'm going to give this guy a three in terms of profile for smell and terpenes. Definitely smells like we're getting what we're supposed to be getting. And that makes me quite happy. Now, next up, my favorite part, as always, is to taste our profile. Product. Let me see how this stuff is actually going to look for us today. So we've got our pipe nicely stuffed. And as per always, I have told you guys every single episode, the best way to taste your cannabis is, of course, with one of these fancy dancy little hemp wicks. So we're going to light up our hemp wick right there. Very good. And we've got our hemp wick lit. And now we're going to take a sample of our cannabis. Hmm, that has a relatively mild to nice flavor profile. <clears throat> yes, mild to nice. Um, I'm not getting that much of the lemoniness that I was hoping for. It's more piney, more musty, more... Not as far as grassy, but it's definitely more piney and musty. It feels more um, 
more woody than I expected it. Uh, more woody. I expected more of a citrus kind of fruity flavor, but this is, this is, um, it's still quite nice. It's still quite nice. So in terms of flavor and actual taste of our product, this is a good one. Uh, it's going to receive a two. There's room for improvement on the flavor. <coughs> Excuse me. There's room for improvement on the flavor, but it is still quite good. Um, so I'm quite liking where this one sits. Smoke quality. It was a decent smoke. I was able to talk to you guys most of the way through. Um, so, so nothing too harsh on this one. I'm liking that. It is a touch harsh, a touch harsher. And I think it relates again to that dryness, the sort of poofiness of it. So we're going to give that guy a two again on smoke quality. Um, so yeah, two on smoke quality, two on taste. It's, it's weed. It's, it's doing the trick, but it's not the most fantastic stuff. Um, so a little bit more to be desired, um, but it's, it's, it's packing a bit of a punch here. So that's good. Um, let us evaluate the color of our ash. So we want to find out the color of our ash. We're going to slide things out of the way here just a little bit. Slide things out of the way. Get that guy in there. And we want to make sure our hemp wick is out first. Very good. And we want to check on this ash. So it did indeed come in nice and white and flaky. Nice and white and flaky. So that's... um. That's a positive thing. It gets its two points on the ash. Received a nice, clean product. Nothing detrimental in terms of additives. Effects. Okay, this one was listed at... What was this guy listed at here? 17.8%. 17.8%. I probably shouldn't have moved that camera. So, 17.8% is what this guy here is coming in at. Um, that's a good amount. That's surprising surprisingly got a really good potency for what it is. 17.8%, um, I don't always expect to be the most punch kind of product, uh, but this one, this one's got a bit of a zing to it. This one's got a bit of a zing to it. So I'm going to say in terms of effect, this is in the three to the four range. Potent beyond its percentage. Um, I think that's a good way to look at it. So we might even go to a four. Um, I'm feeling quite energized from the citrus side of it. The limonene type profile is, um, I'm feeling very good, but also that pinene is kind of keeping me nice and balanced. So this is a happy strain. I'm liking this strain. Uh, value. Next up is, of course, value. One of our least subjective of categories, because again, this just works on our scale. This particular product was $14.95 at the store per gram. That puts it at a zero for value. Very close to negative points on that value. Five cents away from negative points. Um, yeah, that's it's still excessively, obscenely expensive in my world. So one, one gram should not cost $15. That being said, for our overall score, this one has good bang for its buck. So I would prefer to be paying less than 10 for sure. But, um, this one is reasonable for what it is. It's a, it's a decent bud. I had a decent, decent smoke off it. Um, it looked pretty nice, tasted pretty nice, but it's expensive. So potency aside, um, taste aside, all those things aside, that, that overarching piece of cost is still kind of annoying to me. So, is what it is. However, overall score for Lemon Riot is going to receive a four out of a potential five from me because I actually think this is nice and tasty. Um, what's holding it back, really, what's holding it back is cost. If this was a much, if it was the same product for much less, it would be very good. If it was the same price, but much better, it would be very good. And those are the ways it could get to five but we're mismatched here. It's all the, the teeter-totter's not lining up. So something's a little bit askew. All right, now, I'm sorry, I digress. It's time for me to do math.
Oh, I apologize to you all in advance. Negative points. We do have three on the negative side, so we'll take that into account afterwards, but we're going to do our positives. 8, 10, 14, 17, 21, 23, minus 3. So this receives a total of 20 points. 20 points is not too darn bad. Um, this is, um, yeah, considering that our scale goes from negative 15 up to 51, 20, sort of right in the middle, right kind of where you expect them to be on the better side of middle, shall we say, better side of middle. So um, that's kind of why it receives a four overall on my books. I think that lines up pretty nicely. It's, it's good. It's tasty. I quite liked it. Um, good flavor profile. Not the best moisture. How could we improve this product? Better packaging, better moisture, uh, better cost. Those are sort of the three pieces that I think would really set this one ahead or to, um, or to really just, yeah, drop that cost and sort of go with what you got. Either way would work. All right. Thanks for coming, everybody. And I uh, hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you guys are enjoying opening up as it begins. And you guys can go get some more ganja. Hey, a good thing. And I hope you guys have a great time. Happy smoking.